Hey everybody, it's Todd Bartusik with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So I'm coming to you uh, right now with the October District 66 market report. So I like to always talk about the overall market and then I'll break it down into three different uh, price categories. So overall from September to October, we were down in units sold about 40%. So we had 35 in September and we ended up with about 21 in October. Not really um, surprising because as I'm sure you guys know, you've been watching the news, rates have been on the move. They were they topped out around eight um, about a week, week and a half ago. This past Friday, uh, they were at about seven and a quarter. Today, Monday, the 6th of, September, of, of November, uh, they're about seven and three eighths. So really guys, what's going on is the market is normalizing. Um, you know, so COVID, obviously we had crazy low rate. I mean, basically, I mean, money was basically free. We're more than likely never gonna see anything like that. So, you know, whether it's six, seven, eight percent interest rates, yes, does that have an impact on the overall market? It does, um, but it's not like it was when in the 80s when, you know, rates were 12, 14, 15, 16%. Um, so again, the market's normalizing. Houses are taking a little longer to sell, but there are still people out buying and selling homes every day. I just wrote an offer today. I was with three different clients yesterday. So it's a good market, whether you're a buyer or a seller. Um, so with all that being said, again, our average list price in September was about 410 and some change, up about 1.8% in October. We were just shy of 418,000 with an average sale price up also about 1% from September to October from 410 to about 414. So that's a good sign that we're still seeing the overall price point appreciate. Okay, so that's the overall market. So then the next segment I like to talk about is the starter, the first time home buyer price point. So that's zero to 300,000. So in September, we had 19 units sell. In October, we had nine. So that was down about 53%. Um, our average sale price in September was about 240. And our average sale price in October was just, I mean, literally up 0.06%, was up about $150. We went from four days on, on market to 11 in October. So like I said, houses are sitting a little longer, but they're still selling and they're still increasing in price. Okay, so that, then the move up from there is the three to 750,000. We had 12 sell in September and we had 10 in October. So just down about 16%. Now here's where our prices change a little bit. So what we'll see in, in West Side houses is in that three to 750. Okay, so we're gonna see at times some houses that might be kind of dated. Maybe we're gonna see dark woodwork. We're gonna see wallpaper. Maybe we're gonna see, you know, dark carpet. The, you know, the forest greens from the, from the 80s and 90s. Um, dark, you know, royal blues, things of that nature. So the reason I'm saying that is our average sale price in September in this move up price point was just under 493,000. Our average sale price in October in this price point was 445,000. So down about 10%. Now we had a few uh, 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 less units sell in October, but overall that mid-level move up price point is starting to flatten out a little bit. So that's where there can be some good buys as a buyer but also a pretty important thing to think about if you're a seller in the three to $750,000 range, knowing that we might be seeing a trend slightly downward in that price point if you're not updated. That's the big caveat. If you're not updated, we're probably gonna sit a little bit. If you're updated, we're still actually even seeing multiple offers at times. So, okay, so that's the move up. Then my last category I like to talk about is the luxury. That's 750,000 and above. In September, we had four units sell. In October, we had two. Okay, again, same reasons that I talked about in the very beginning of the video. Higher interest rates, we've got inflation. You know, there's, there's some things going on, but people are still buying and selling houses. Okay, so our average sale price in September was 967,000. Uh, our average sale price in October was a million 40. So that was up seven and a half percent. Okay, so again, overall guys, West Side houses still slightly moving upwards. That's a great trend. And primarily guys, because we don't have hardly any inventory. So if you're thinking about selling, you're wondering maybe, hey, is this a good time? Is there something that I should do? What should I do? Do I paint? Do I do you know, landscaping? You know, really what, what things should I do, Todd? 
to get the best bang for the buck out of my house. Give me a call, it's a no obligation. Uh, you know, I'll come over, I'll take a quick look, I'll give you suggestions, I'll give you my opinion. From there, you do with, you know, you do what you want with that information. So if you guys like what you see here, please uh, you know, follow me on social media and please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.